Hi, I'm H.G. Watson with Daily Extra. Today we're at Toronto City Hall for the Transgender Day of Remembrance where for the first time ever they've raised the trans flag. We did have a flag here on the pole ready to be raised and it was stolen. But uh, thankfully we have a replacement flag from the Shoreline Health Center. It is a historic moment for sure that we have the first ever Trans Day of Remembrance and the raising of the flag here at City Hall. It's amazing that even before he's had the privilege of being sworn in as the mayor of our city, that John Tory, the mayor elect is here and we are so glad to see you here. It's a signal of better days ahead here in Toronto and at City Hall. According to the Transgendered Violence Tracking Project, we are looking at numbers of 268 murders, 77 instances of physical violence, four silicone murders, and three missing persons. And those are just the ones that get reported. There are very, very many that don't go unreported. When we come together to remember, we celebrate our lives. When our allies support us, when you're here to support us, we acquire more strength and determination. Let us pause and reflect for a moment. At the end, there was a little scuffle between you and somebody else who was attending the protest. I was wondering if you'd tell me a bit about that. Um, the person came up in front of me and tried to cover up my sign. We had four signs. Um, together, they spelled out the Trans uh, Toronto Alliance, Silences uh, Trans Women of Color. And as she tried to like cover up my sign, I put the sign over her in front, and then she took the sign from my hands, and like she started to rip it up. And then I was like, no, you can't do that. And I grabbed my sign and, uh, I grabbed my sign and then we got into a kerfuffle. There was that little scuffle there at the end. I mean, uh, what did you think about what happened? I think it was really, really sad that that happened. Um, you know, we, we certainly do understand, and I think we made it clear in our speeches that we understand, you know, where, you know, the issues are more, more prevalent and, um, as I said, as I indicated, we did have um, people of color, and in fact, sadly, two trans youth of color who were going to come until they heard about a lot of this nonsense and they were just too afraid. I would have at least liked it if the TTA acknowledged that there was a problem and that they needed to work towards a resolution with the community because a lot of community members have come up to you and been like, this is really important for the protest to happen, but it's a very tense situation. Like, we're having to protest our own people, so a lot of people are really caught like we don't know what to do. Um, a lot of the ways that they are working is like are like really racist and colonial ways of working and a lot of us are like people of color inside the community and we really need to work in ways that are like very different from how they're doing things and I would have just liked a little bit of acknowledgement from them that they need to sit down and talk. What do we want? Trend rise! 